<sighs> Hello, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. Yes, it's been a long, long time. I don't remember the last video I recorded. I think it was my favorites of 2019. Either that or the Blundiful. I think it was the Blundiful, actually. Um, yes, I have a cold. It's wonderful. I love them. They're my favorite. I like to get them once a month, starting in October or in February. I might be done with it by March, maybe. Maybe. Who knows? I'm on here because <clears throat> I have a few things I want to talk about. Um, yes, mostly makeup related, but some of them aren't. So, I guess we'll just start of where I've been. Okay, so after my last video, I cleaned out my beauty room slash computer room slash collecting everything room and um, had kind of an aha moment. Um, behind me, I have cleaned out a lot. Like, I still have a lot of palettes, but I gave a lot of palettes away to women's shelter. So, and I have no problems giving palettes away, makeup away, whatever, to women's shelter because they need it. You know, they're obviously in need for stuff like that. But um, my problem is me. Like, last year I had FOMO so bad on, like, new releases. You know, I had to have it, I had to test it, I had to give you my opinion. The problem with that is my channel is so, so small, I can't afford that. Like, I I just can't. I mean, we're talking hundreds of dollars last year, and it came to a realization that most of the palettes I gave away were large. I can't use a large palette. My dog is barking. And, because I'm never going to use all of it. Like, I'm just going to let it sit there, and then send it to a you know, women's shelter, or give it away to somebody who wants it, because I don't sell my stuff online, I'm not like that, like, if it's used, it's used, either you want it or you don't, I'm just going to send it away, and a lot of the palettes that I had, I used none of the colors, but maybe three or four of them, to me, that's a huge waste, now, I went up to the Twin Cities here a couple weeks ago to go to the Morphe store, and... I picked up a smaller palette, and I really, really like it. Like, I love this smaller size. I can, I have a small train case. It's not very big. So when I travel, I can just throw it in there. I don't use the big, bulky, you know, huge 15,000-pan eyeshadows. I just don't. I use, like, the smaller ones. Like, this one I bought. I bought this little guy the other day. I've been using this one um, at Walgreens. And, you know, it's relatively bigger than the nine pans that I have, but it fits it. This will fit in my train case. Like I can pick it up and take it and go. Now I just got this one, which is the one we're going to talk about today. The Carity, um, just peachy. It's larger. I wouldn't be able, I would be able to fit this in my train case, but is it something like this? No, like not at all. This, I've always wanted to try a Carity product and that was $6. That's why I bought it. Here are the colors. They're absolutely a beautiful peachy nude. We are going to get into that, but not right now. But anyway, so that's where I've been. I've been trying to figure out what is important to me. What is it that I want to do in this community space with my very, very small sub count? Um, and my, I just come to the conclusion that I will test beauty products if they're new that isn't all the rage, because I feel like sometimes if it's all the rage, it's all going to be, I love it because I love the person behind it, I love it, I love it, I love it. No, like I don't do that. Like even if I love somebody's stuff, like Tati, I love Tati's reviews. Do I think some of them are great? No, I don't. There's been times where I've watched Tati's reviews and I'm so excited about a product and I go out and buy it and it's absolute garbage. Like it doesn't work for me. Why did I do that? Because I listen to somebody else who has perfect skin, who gets Botox, who gets, you know, filler. My skin doesn't have any of that. None of it. So, it looked like shit on me. But I am buying it because somebody who was supposed to be honest, who uses filters, by the way, and don't get me wrong, I love Tati, but stop using your damn filters on your face. You have pores. You have everything else everybody else does. Stop letting people think that you have perfect skin. Nobody has perfect skin. 
unless you're a baby. And sometimes that's not even possible. Anybody else is doing it, stop doing that. If you're a reviewer of makeup, your ass should be like just bare bones. Like I have my base on right now because I'm going to do this palette. But this is what I look like every single day. I am not a beauty queen. I am not somebody that's like, oh my God, she's so beautiful. Oh my God. No, that's not me. Like, I don't, I'm not like that. Uh, I'm going off on a rant about stupid shit. I, this is why I should not do this stuff in the morning. Okay. So, where have I been? So, I've been in my head. And here's the thing I want to tell people. I don't give a crap what you buy. I don't give a crap what you review. I'm going to watch your shit if I like you. That's just how it is. Right? You can buy every single Jeffree Star product. If I'm a friend of yours, you're a friend of mine. I don't give a shit. Right? I don't care about that. I I, I do care about stuff that I purchase, that I want to buy. Like, I don't want to have someone bully me into some, buying something. Like, I'm not going to buy it if I don't want it. I'm not going to. Like, I, it might be beautiful. I might use it once in a while but for me at this stage of my life if i'm not going to pick that up every single day or at least once a week i don't want it right so i've used <clears throat> this milani gilded twilight i've used it pretty much every day i use my morphe every day something out of mini controversy the crim shop colored rain manny's palette i have used these i can use them every day these are things that i can use and they're also small so i can take them with me so they're not a waste Last year I bought so much shit that it was a waste. I was just like, well, I'm not spending this money. I know I'm never going to use it. Here I was using it, testing it. So, anyway, that's where I've been. So, on my channel now, you're going to find me doing a little bit smaller palettes um, with companies that I want to try if they have a smaller palette. Um, I know Milani does not have great eyeshadows. I know this. I paid $20 for this. This is not a $20 palette. Um, they're... These colors in here, they look like a metallic. These are not metallics. These are glitter. Like most of this stuff in here is glitter. This is supposed to be a matte. It's chunky. I don't know why it's chunky. It does. And the colors do not go on your eyeballs like they look in the pan. Like they are all, all every single one of them have a purple undertone. Um, even this one up here in the corner right here, this little guy, there's a, when you put it on, it's darker when you put it on than it looks in the pan. Um, are some of them, some of the colors, like this color right here, um, got my glasses, because I'm blind as an old lady, um, maybe I can see it far away, good vibes, it has a purple undertone, it's a very, very light purple, but it's there, so this good vibes color is very, very pretty for an all over cover color, if you just want to throw something on out the door, that's a really, really pretty color, it's very soft, um, Another pretty color in here is this Moonlit, but like I said, it's not a metallic, it's a glitter. Like, it looks metallic in the pan, but it's not when you go on, it flakes everywhere, so you're going to have to put a setting spray. Every single one of these, oh, the smoking is the same way, like, I was like, oh my god, look at that metallic, it's so pretty. No, it didn't work. I haven't used this dark purple one, because I don't usually do purples. Um, this LBD black, with the gold, with this fleck in it, I don't know if you could tell, I can't, uh, there we go. This one right there, this little guy, is beautiful on, and it is dark, but again, the glitter falls everywhere. You're just going to have to use a setting spray. Um, I was kind of disappointed in the colors I, after I got them on. Like, there's like two on here that I use every, I could use every day. Um, the Signature and the Good Vibes, because they're mattes, and I use that as a base. But, you know, like I said, they're a purple undertone. I don't wear purples, but they're very, very light, so I could get away with it. $20.00. At my Walgreens, it's not a $20 palette. This is a $15 max to me. I've used several palettes like this before. They're very powdery. There's a ton of kickback in the pan. Um, you're going to fall out on your face from the glitter. You're going to fall out on your face from the mattes. So just keep that in mind. Um, if it goes on sale, like Walgreens always has really good sales. If they throw this, this sucker on for $12, bucks, I would say pick it up. You know, It's nothing to write home about. They do have, But if you like purple, you're going to like this. Um, the next one I picked up, gosh darn it, um, actually I picked up two, three, okay, so I'm, I did pick up a few, but they're smaller, right, because I use these. Morphe, I went to the Morphe store, this is the 9S palette, I've been wanting to get this palette for months. My Ulta never has this palette, and Morphe's shipping is awful, 
I'm just gonna put that out there. Like every time I've ordered from Morphe, it's been terrible. Um, so I picked this up at the Morphe store. I was so excited because I, like I said, I've wanted to pick it up at my Ulta. They've never had it, but here it is. And this is the 9S. And I love, 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 love this palette. Like I love every color in this palette. I've, you know, I've swatched it. It. <laughs> see my cat. <laughs> Look at my desk. <laughs> anyway, yeah, it's very, very pretty. And that this color right here, this this guy right here, this dark blue with the fleck, ah, oh, so gorgeous. I use these two colors every single day, like this top row, boom, every day. Um, we'll get into that. We'll do that. I'll I'll do another. I'm not gonna swatch them. I don't have enough time for that today. But um, yeah, I use this palette every some at least one color out of this palette every single day. Um, okay, the next thing, a couple things that I picked up. These were five dollars a piece. These are from Hip Dot. Um, Hip Dot I've never tried, so I thought, oh, five bucks, I could pick it up. They're cute, and they they travel well because they're so small. Four. These are all metallics, and they're not glitter. So when you dip into the pan, like this one here is super soft. It goes on your finger like a metallic. It doesn't flake off. I hate that that doesn't go in. There we go. Yeah, you can see there's a it's a little bit. It's really soft, so don't be afraid to use it. It's it's it works really well. This is I've used this multiple times. Um, this one, as you can tell, uh, also very well loved. I love this this these colors. You see the ones that I use the most. Um, but this one is very pigmented, like very 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 pigmented. If you want to use um, a transition color, I would maybe if, to make it darker, maybe use a khaki color. But a lighter color is going to make this bright. Like it's not. It's very very pigmented. Along as same with this palette. This palette, all these colors are very pigmented. And hip dot for five dollars, I'm very 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 impressed. Like I will order more hip dot from not like their bright collection because I'm not really a pastels and I'm not like a you know I'm past the eighty stage. I wore that in high school, so I'm I'm done with that color that color selection. Okay, that's it. That's all I bought. Um, now, I got this, and BoxyCharm had that pop-up BoxyCharm, and me and BoxyCharm haven't been on good terms lately, as you all know, so I'm giving them, next chance will be in March, and if they destroy what I feel like it should be a good company, I'm out, like, that's just the way it is, and I do get the Boxy Lux, so... If I have any problems with shipping, if any of the stuff is missing out of the box, I'm I'm not going to be a subscriber anymore. I'm just not going to do it. But, excuse me, there is, they have pop, boxy pop-up, and I picked this up out of the pop-up. This was the Carity Palette Just Peachy. Now, I've wanted to try this brand for a very long time. They don't have small palettes. This is a large palette. I believe it's 15 highly, it says 15 highly pigmented shadows. And six finishes. So, and I showed this to you earlier. But they're here. Um, they're very beautiful. They're very neutral. And they have the names on them. So, this is actually, I'm very, very excited to try these colors out today. So, let's just get into it and go. Um, holy crap. Let's find it. I got a lot of brushes yesterday. I bought some new brushes. I've never tried this brand, but... Um, I'm trying to figure out if this is, if the brand is called Mode or Moda, Moda Pro is this, and this is, um, these are very soft. These are beautiful brushes. My phone, holy crap. This voting season has made my phone blow up like no other. So anyway, we're going to go in with this, the money brushes. I'm super excited to use them. So. We're going to go, um, and we're going to do this one right here. It's called Freshly Picked. It's this little guy, this mat. And I'm not going to swatch all these today, you guys, just before time. But we're going to go in on my eye and see how it works. Uh, very soft. Um, there is absolutely no kickback in the pan. Hmm. Um, so we're going to go in on my big fat eyeball. Cover up my oldness. There's a little bit of fallout, <clears throat> um, but not much. It's, it's, most of it's sticking to my eyeball, so that's good. 
get that in there. Crevasses everywhere you go. There we go. Okay, so that's on. So I don't know if you can really tell. Sometimes it's hard to tell, but oh, I think you can tell a little bit different. So it's lighter, like definitely a little bit lighter. Okay, so we're going to go in. Oh, there's a little bit of fallout, I guess, but not a lot. Not a lot. Okay, so we're going to go in. Oh, it's a little, yeah. That's, this is so soft, you guys. This formula is beautiful. Like, it just glides on. Um, go in here and fluff this out because I don't like it to sit in my fat pockets. And I'll have it go up here, and then I'll have it go on my lid. And then we should be ready to go. These brushes are amazing. I should have bought these earlier. I'll probably buy another set if they come back on because these are amazing. They're so soft. Okay. <laughs> so, so there's that. Beautiful. Now I'm going to swatch it for y'all because I have it on my eyeball. So here we go. Boop. Right there. Very light, very matte. <clears throat> okay. So the next color... You guys, my throat is so, so dry. It is. Uh, okay, we're going to go into. Boop, 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 boop. Whoosh, I don't know. Let's go into this uh, Atlanta color. <clears throat> this color right here, this bottom color, this Atlanta. Give it a little bit of a dark moment. I need a different brush. Well, I guess. I'll try this one. Okay, we're going to go in. This one does have fallout, this color. That's okay, though. That doesn't bother me, but some people it does. Okay. I'm going to go in, just dab it on. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. That's crazy. Right there in my crease. Do, 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 do. Right there. On she goes. That was it. How in the heck... This palette was six dollars, I think, on regular regular price. Excuse me, I think it's fifteen to twenty. I don't think they're very much. But the pigment, look at that! Oh my gosh! And they're so soft. Like even with the soft brushes I have, I can tell how soft this is. Holy guacamole! That's crazy. Oh wow. Okay, they're not playing. All right, we're gonna go back in. With this, my brush right here that I did my transition shade and just fluff it out so it doesn't sit in my fat pockets <laughs> on my eyeballs because I have them because my skin is very loose. Everybody. Okay. Fluff, 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 fluff. Okay. I can't believe how fast that went on. That's insane. Okay, look, look at look at this. Ugh. Okay, we're going to round this baby out with, what are we going to round it out with? Hmm. Yeah, Mo? I don't know. We're going to go glow up. That's it. This one right here. We're just going to do this whole row. This one right here. I can get my dang camera. This glow guy right here. Um, do -do 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 colors of the rainbow. There they are. So that top one. As you can tell, okay, going in. I'm going to try this on my finger. Oh, wow, okay. Here we go, right here. There we go. You can tell it's beautiful on my wrist. I should have done the back. Let's do my back. Hey, why not? There we go. <clears throat> okay, we're going to do that. In the inner... Do, 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 wipe this off. By the way, I bought this off Amazon. It's the original makeup eraser. It was 20 bucks. If you have not bought one of these, I highly recommend buying this. This has been the best thing. Look, I I use this every day. This takes off every bit of my makeup. I don't have to use anything but water. Anything. <sighs> takes everything off. <clears throat> now, when I get in the shower, I use my, my gentle cleanser. But this takes everything off. Makeup, gone, boom. Eye makeup, everything. It's witchcraft, I don't know. I don't understand it. Okay, so let's go in. <clears throat> what brush do I want to use? I don't want to use that brush. We're going to try this one. Okay, <clears throat> and with glow up. Oh, man. This, is, this color is gorgeous. Okay, 
right here. Just a little, just a little bit. You see a little bit, and I just like shove it on my eyelid. Wow. Okay. Okay. She's, this would be a very, very, as I should cover my face, you guys, a very, very, very pretty um, highlighter. It's not really coming off on the, so we're just going to use my finger. We're going to go on with my finger. Oh, much better. The brush technique did not work, y'all. But this finger technique, Woo, yeah, she going on. She going on and on and on. Okay, <clears throat> yeah, yeah. It's like, hello. You're not tired anymore. I am, that's a lie. Okay, so there's that. I will, in a video, a, a, a different video, just sw do swatches, that's it. But today I don't have time to do that. But I wanted to get on here and um, talk to you guys about um, where I've been. I'm going to go throw my mascara on and fix my hair real quick and I'll be back. <laughs> okay, I'm back. You guys, my hair is absolute garbage today. Look at this. I can't get it to lay down. It's just terrible. It's having a moment of whateverness. I don't look at this big fucking boop, 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 just laying there being stupid. Ugh. Okay. So, I would say, yeah, I really, really like that palette. Um, it's very pigmented. It goes on very smoothly. It has hardly any fallout in the pan. Um, glasses are, I can't see, but whatever. Um, I had a little bit of fallout on my face, but I just took a, like a brush, a big fluffy brush, and just and wiped it away. No big deal. Um, but very, very little, and it was from the mattes, not from the satins. Now, these are satins that are on the inner eyelid. I am... I, you know, not metallics at all, this, but it's beautiful. Like, I think it's very, very pretty. Um, should I use a darker shade? Probably, but I go to work, and I'm not a real fancy. Look at me, look at me person when I go to work. Now, I'm going to put on some highlighter because I forgot to do that. But um, anyway, basic bitch problems. So, yeah, I like it. I think I'm going to buy more Carrie products. I wasn't sure. You know, I always saw the Instagram um ad and I was like, oh I wonder if this is any good and then I didn't buy it. God, I went hard on that, didn't I? Woo! Um and I've never bought any. So then when I picked this up, I was like, you know, I'm just gonna go in and see why did I do that? I'm shining like a damn that's crazy. Hurry. I just whatever, I give up. Anyway, I'm going to buy more Carity products. That's the, that's what it boils down to. I like the palette. I think it is for, I think I paid $6 for that. I think the regular price is $20, $25, which is an amazing price for 15 shades. Okay, guys. So in my video that I was making, for some reason, at the end of the video, it got all distorted and off track, wasn't matching the media. So I had to cut a bunch of stuff out. But what I was trying to say is that no matter where you're at, I hope you have a good day, a good morning, a good night. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more of me, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see each and every time I upload a video, ring that bell and you will be notified. All right, guys, until the next video, see you later.